Hi guy, Dave here, and uh, I want to talk to you about my next project. This will probably be a couple of videos. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, you will know to, that I started out in HF QRP with a little MFJ standalone 20 meter QRP radio. Single sideband only, wouldn't do digital or CW. Actually, I added a CW board to it, but so it would do CW. But the point is, <laughs> I then, uh, uh, like a lot of folks, decided that I needed more power, I needed more bands, more frequencies, and moved up to the TS-2000. And that's sitting over here, you've probably seen it before. It's got the TS-2000, I've got a LDG Auto Tuner, and a Rig Blaster Advantage uh, connected in for my digital. However, I have had yearnings to QRP again, but I love digital and <clears throat> I wanted to come up with a rig that would do uh, QRP digital for me the way I like to do it. Now there's all different ways of hooking stuff up. Uh, there's probably as many different ham operators as there are. That's how many different ways you can make things work. But what I want to show you is I went ahead and picked up a Yesu 817 QRP rig. Uh, I like the ability to go into any band uh, or any of the ham bands I should say and, and do digital or do phone or do whatever. This little radio will do all the modes, all the bands, okay most of the bands. <clears throat> we'll get me started on that. And so what I am, uh, what I'm going to do is I, you see, I've got the 718. Um, I did get its matching LDG Z718 auto tuner. And by a strange set of circumstances, I ended up with an extra uh, rig blaster advantage. Uh, now, I'm eventually going to put all this in a portable container that this can all be mounted in with the battery. I've got like a I got a gazillion of these things laying around <clears throat> uh, so that I can pick it up and go go out in the backyard go to the park go to the wherever and do all of my stuff. Uh, what I'm going to use for the digital mode is I've got this uh, little 8 inch tablet here. Uh, it's a Windows uh, 8.1 tablet I uh, got my little pin for doing my stuff. Unlock. There you go. I've already got FL Digi installed on it just fine. It's got a little USB keyboard in that cute, uh, excuse me, uh, Bluetooth keyboard. So, what I don't have is I don't have the connection between the tablet and the LDG Auto Tuner. That will be my next challenge or my next video to show you how I connected these two together. This does have a USB port. It's one of these little teeny tiny SOBs. Uh, and the cable it comes with is that, which is not what you need for the LDG. And in fact, I may have to go to a powered USB hub to supply enough power for uh, the rig blaster, but I'm not sure at this point until I'm able to uh, do something with the connector issue. So this is my plan to take this tablet and this rig here and connect it up to have a portable um, digital rig that will still do phone. I'm still connected in with my phone here <clears throat> and uh, and go to the field. Now my first uh, test is if I have connected all this stuff up right, next video, watch stay tuned, subscribe, is uh, just simply to take the same antenna that I'm using on the TS-2000, uh, move it over here, pull the USB cable out of the back of this LDG Auto Tuner and plug it in here. And theoretically, I uh, should be able to do the same uh, digital modes, plus power of course, on the big PC that I'm doing with the TS-2000. That'll be my next video, so stand by for that. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Dave, AF5DM.